guys and gals, welcome to the first full-length tarantula feeding video of 2018. This is Therophosa apophysis, pink foot goliath, uh, female about seven and a half inches. Far on a huge, sure female to be a roach. Very nice. She got it, but the roach is still not doing much. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Well, let's mess with her a little bit more. And we'll try her on another one. You can hear anything if the roach is scrambling. That one's gone. We'll get that one out a little later once her fangs are full. Got a mid on it. She should be able to handle two of these, no problem. But as you can see, the roaches are not stupid. They play dead. Maybe she'll feel the antennae moving there. Look at the size of those fangs. Oh. Doesn't look like she's too interested. She is, but I guess she's got her fangs full. Oh guys, I don't, well she'll get that one, but we're already at two minutes on her, so we'll move on to the next. Well guys, as soon as I turn off the camera, she started walking. That roach is still playing dead. Check her out. Beautiful specimen. It's nice to get a little bit of footage of them. Kind of moving around after their feed, doing a little bit of a happy dance. Anyways guys, moving on. This is from Ictibus Concerides, Haitian Brown Bird Eater number four. Try her on our roach. Very nice. The thing with the roaches, they don't struggle even once they're in the tarantula's fangs, and then there's not much action. Just a beautiful species though. It's showing up on the camera, but she's got like a nice rusty color on her carapace. Beautiful tarantulas. Nasty, very defensive. A little bit of fang action. Here's a closer look at her. She's making her way around her enclosure. Doing the happy dance. Figured I'd start out with some of my larger teas uh, for the feeding video. Sometimes the little ones are apprehensive to eat or uh, just a little bit shy. These guys seem to be used to the camera, meaning the light. I've never had a problem with them eating with the, the bright light, but it kind of gives you a good chance to look at the tarantula you know, up and close and sort of kind of relaxed. Anyways guys, she's not doing a whole lot, so we'll move on to the next. This is Taco, my uh, OBT P. Muranus. Uh, she's one of my, I think, eight OBTs. She is my most, I guess, photogenic 
uh, OBT that I have. She generally stays out like this and um, you know, I'll bring the enclosure off the shelf and she doesn't do much as long as I'm, I'm slow and quiet about it. But anyways, let's try her on a super worm. Yeah, there she, that's what she does. She gets defensive and then generally she'll sense that super worm and she'll go for it if it's not too far from her. Thing is, I'm gonna try to get it closer to her, but she's gonna get defensive. The web is so strong with I can't even get it off. So we'll leave that there for her. We'll try around another one. At least he's going the right way. Lost my poker again. She's been really, there she goes. She's been really calm. She could be in pre malt, but generally she's hiding when she's in pre malt. be in pre malt doesn't want anything to do with it anyways guys we'll leave that in as an update because he's one of the favorites on to the next all right this is gbb number two try her on a roach very nice they have great appetites oh yeah they flip it over that's so uh, well my opinion is it's, they're softer underneath the roaches. The top of them is uh, more of like a shell or armor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the, they use their putty pulps to flip their prey over to get the soft spots so they can get the fangs into them. Very nice. There's a little bit of a better angle. Right by the head. Anyways, guys, not a whole lot going on here, so we shall move on to the next. This is Green Bottle Blue number one. Pretty sure this one's a female. We're gonna try her on a super worm. Very nice. Unfortunately, she's on the wrong side of the enclosure. Maybe I'll turn it around so you guys can get a better look. And there she is. Stunning tees, as you can see, the green carapace, blue legs, and orange abdomen. She's backing up the bus. This one's put up a pretty good fight. Anyways guys, we'll move on to the next. Alright, way down yonder is Megaphobema Robustum. Uh, this is one of my newer additions. It did molt uh, probably a few days after I got it. So I uh, wasn't able to sex it, but let's see if it wants a super warm. Oh, just bit at it. I think he tried to grab it. There we go. She feels it. He or she. Very nice. Love this tarantula. Anyways guys, that's a great meal for him or her. Uh, can't see too much down there, so we'll move on. Okay, this is Lassiodora Parahabana number two. Try him or her on a big roach. Whoa! <laughs> I need my poker. Very nice.
he or she decides to do anything. going on. Not a whole lot going on guys, so we will move on to the next. This is from McTavis Concerity's Haitian Brown Bird Eater number three. I drop a big roach behind her. And it ran. Oh, <laughs> oh man. This is what I mean about these guys. I, I was nowhere near her. I was just picking the roach up from the other side of the enclosure. And that's what you get right there. So I'm going to leave that one roach in there. We'll see. She wants a different one. She'll be hungry. She hasn't eaten in a little while. But I think she was sleeping. She was all hunched up there like nothing was going on. Let's see. I'm not even going to use the tongs. I'm just going to drop it with my hands from above. Oh, okay, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I don't like it when that happens. Some people enjoy it. It's good for footage, but it really stresses them out. She did a backflip. Get your roach. <laughs> They're just angry. Very angry. Anyways, guys, I'm going to let her settle. I will leave. Those two roaches in there, um, she's nowhere near a molt. And I will check on her tomorrow. On to the next. All right, just to the left there is OBT number seven, sorry, number eight. If it wants a worm. Worm's just in the middle. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he's coming. He or she. They've uh, burrowed down, webbed up their whole little enclosures here. And uh, very hard to see, but there, nice gentle snag. All right, guys, we went on. This is Grandma Stola Pulchra, Brazilian Black. Let's try it on a smaller superworm. Very gentle. This is the one that molted probably a couple weeks ago. Has eaten since it's molt, but uh, wanting some more food. Not a whole lot going on. I'm gonna try to move this. A little skittish at this size, but. Better, better, better view, a little bit of a better view. That's a tongue twister. All right, guys, not much going on, so we shall move on to the next. All right, down there is C. Lividus, cobalt blue, number one. Let's see if this one wants a roach. Lord Jesus, pardon my French. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, but that was very nice. Scared the heck out of me. Yeah, nasty tease. That was just totally feeding. Might have been uh, a little bit of a defensive. These guys can be that, but uh, that's why uh, it's good to use long tongs. Anyways, guys, on to the next. Hey, down there is C. Lividus number two, cobalt blue. Let's hope we didn't go, don't get a repeat. Let that one go. right down there you can see the legs on it come on buddy go meet your friend this one I did see out roaming around last night so it should be hungry roach is playing dead oh oh Sorry guys, I hit the camera. But yeah, these guys are no joke guys. They're an old world. 
they are pet holes, but uh, as you've seen in the last clip with the other one, lightning fast. And uh, if you get tagged by one of these, you're you're going to the hospital probably. Anyways, guys, can't see much there, so we shall move on. This is Breggy Palma Alviceps Mexican Golden Red Rump. Let's try him or her on a super worm. Sorry, little guy. Could be going into pre -malt. So, we get that out of there. One. Anyways, guys, I'm going to pause it and get it out. Alright, guys, I took the worm out and, uh, just tried him on a cricket, him or her, and she decided to take it. So sometimes the worms don't move quite enough, especially if they are going into the early stages of pre molt. They show a little bit of interest, but you know, if there's not a lot of movement, they don't really want a whole lot to do with it. But the crickets are actually the best for a feeding response, or the red runners, but I don't have them. Anyways, guys, on to the next. This is Marilyn, my Brachy Palma Bomi, Mexican Fireleg. Pretty sure she was in pre molt but she's been very active, so I decided to try give her a bit of a feed. No, no, she's kicking. Yeah, so she's still in pre molt so we'll move on to the next. This is Grandma Stola Portery, number one. Try her on a super one. Very nice. Always happy when these guys eat for me because they can tend to fast for a very, very long time. Oh, it makes me very happy. Alright guys, not much going on. We got lots of teas to feed, so we'll move on. Okay, this is Lassiodora para habana. Uh, pink salmon bird eater number one. Try him or her. Worm. worm don't want to let go. That was very uneventful. But he or she got it. Alright guys, not much going on there, so we'll move on to the next. This is Samopoas Arminia, Venezuelan Sun Tiger number one. Uh, this one molted not long ago, it didn't eat for me on the last video, so hopefully he or she takes this roach. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. Defensive. I'm not going to stress her out too much. She's got a mid on it. So maybe what I'll do guys is I'll get that roach out of there and I'm just going to throw a couple crickets in there. Uh, she did just molt so put, well, a couple weeks back I guess it was. So. Um, <clears throat> Crickets will be fine in there for a couple of days. Anyways, leave this in as an update. Moving on to the next. All right, guys. As soon as I turn the camera off, you grab the roach. Oh, that makes me very happy. It's really got its fangs into it yet, but she'll sink them in. So about the shaky camera work. I was taking the camera off to do a couple pictures and uh, she grabbed it. Beautiful tea though, as you can see. Striking orange or red on her. Anyways guys, I don't want to leave it on her but we'll move on. Mm. 
Maybe not. But action going on. Still hasn't got her fangs into it. She's just holding it. She will flip it and grab a, a softer part. Anyways guys, that's way too long on her. Lots of teeth to feed. Moving on. Alright, this is P. Metallica. Uh, <laughs> he was fine, he or she was fine. Until I just went to turn the camera on even before I put the light on. Give me a little bit of a threat pose there. It's making its way up, or was making its way up. So, I'm going to just throw a cricket. And here she's angry. This one doesn't really like eating for me on camera. So what I do is I just throw a couple crickets in there and uh, it will get it probably within the next half hour or so. But yeah, there it goes. Actually, it could be in Primo. You see, big booty. But anyways, guys, I haven't shown this one in a long time, so just leave that in as an update. On to the next. All right, this is a Canthoscaris Unicolata number two, just a little sling. Uh, definitely needs a rehouse, but I'm gonna try him on a small superworm. Very nice. Generally what I do, especially in small enclosures, I will feed the tarantula and then I add its water because if I do it, they go cray cray while they don't have food. So, this one definitely needs a rehouse. So I actually have some extra small breeder, so terra breeder bins or boxes they're called. So this one and the next tarantula I'm gonna feed will be getting rehoused into that. Anyways guys, just a little look at this little guy. We're moving on to the next. All right, this is Pocletheria Miranda Bengal Ornamental. And get a roach. Started to walk away, so I turned the camera on. I won't be going that way. Beautiful tea. This one uh, is out an awful lot, which is kind of nice. Most of my other pokies are hiding all the time. I'm having a really hard time getting a roach here. At least the one I want. And he's going for a walk. Don't really advise to do this, guys. Take the lid off once you're ready to feed. Anyways, sort of kind of still frame there. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> she don't want it. Come on, buddy. There we go. Very nice. You got to be slow with these guys because they are very skittish. Let's see if I can get you guys a better angle. There we go. Quite the battle going on there. Sorry about the glare, guys. A uh, beautiful tea. Beautiful pokey. This, like I said earlier, this one tends to be out a lot more than my, uh, my Regalis is never around. She's actually huge now. Uh, very hard feeding her in the enclosure that she's in. Um, I'm going to redo the enclosure and put all three pokies in my uh, acrylic tank. Some of my old subscribers might know that. It's three cages in one per se. But uh, I'm going to put my Miranda, this one here, my Metallica, and... Uh, my regalis in there and I'm gonna set up different so for feeding videos uh, we're able to get some uh, footage of it anyways guys I'm just rambling here but uh, that's some pretty good footage of her makes me happy anyways guys on to the next this is Pemphobedius McCullough purple starburst female she molted uh, a couple weeks back uh, hopefully she's ready to eat
go. Now maybe we can lure her out. The roach. I'm going so well, guys. Just trying to get it. She's just beautiful. You can tell uh, from her last molt, she was almost like a rusty brown. Now she's got some color to her. Look at that roach. Oh, made a quick getaway. <laughs> Anyways, that'll be alright in there for a little while. Try on another worm. This thing is usually a great feeder. All panfuls are. But, uh, been a little shy since her last molt, and I've said it a thousand times before. Um, Francesca's temperament, moods, disposition, everything changes from molt to molt. Everyone wants to go the opposite way. There she is, just gorgeous. Get it! <laughs> Man, how are you gonna make me put in there? Anyways, guys, that's enough for her. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna split this video into two parts because it's uh, already probably very long. Um, I still have probably 20 or or more teas to feed. So as I said, I'm gonna break it up into two parts and stay tuned for that. So until then, have a great day and a great night. Wherever you're at, guys, take care, bye-bye.